all right so here we have this new circuit and in the circuit we see that there is a sinusoidal AC voltage source which has a frequency of 50 Hertz and the amplitude of it is V1 that's the voltage source so usually it is a AC main supply that we receive at our homes so that's your 230 volt 50 Hertz sinusoidal AC power supply and then we have these four diodes that is arranged in this fashion as shown and the two ends of this diode circuit you can see to these two ends we have this sinusoidal voltage source connected through this connection and the other two points of this circuits we have output voltage measurement scheme as shown here with respect to ground there is a capacitor also connected and a resistor also is connected and the output voltage is measured across this resistor which is V0 with respect to ground so let us have a look at how this circuit works and what operation of this circuit is and what is the application of this circuit so with this sinusoidal waveform you have a positive and the negative cycle of oscillation and the frequency of this waveform is 50 hertz so when this waveform starts during the positive half cycle the voltage polarity at these two points at this point and at this point comes like positive and negative as shown over figure with such polarity during the positive half cycle this diode has a positive voltage at its anode and this diode has a negative voltage at its cathode for the upper diode at its cathode there is an output wire connected that is V0 and for the anode of this diode we see that the ground level is connected at this node there is a ground connected so how to understand the working of it so when the positive half cycle comes the signal passes like this making this diode forward bias up to the output and the signal goes through the load registers R1 and there is a ground making the path complete and this path comes here and this diode also is forward bias up to this one and there is a negative potential here because of that and it goes to like this so this is how the circuit goes completed during the negative half cycle we see that the polarity is like this so this diode gets forward bias and this diode gets forward bias making the other two diodes reverse bias so with such scheme we see that the signal passes through this level the upper diode is positive and the signal circuit completion is like this is like this right over here and the load voltage gets developed across the output the positive comes here and the negative comes here in the earlier cycle also the positive comes here and the negative comes here so in the output what you have as shown this is the output waveform so you see if you look at the dotted black lines so that's the first positive half cycle and let me draw it again that's the first half cycle and this is the second half cycle so positive and the negative from the input gets converted 
into the positive half cycles always so this dotted black waveform is called as pulsating dc voltage okay so in the output what you get is that during positive half cycle the positive half cycle appears like this and then when the negative half cycle of the input comes another that negative half cycle gets converted into this positive waveform here so all you have here is positive again positive positive and positive so this dotted black lines indicate pulsating dc waveform so ac waveform has been converted into pulsating dc waveform but this is not a constant dc signal that we desire the constant dc signal is ideally should be like this with respect to time it should be constant there should not be any pulsating signal or variations into it so what you do you put a value of capacitor you choose a value of capacitor so when the output voltage due to the positive half cycle gets across this resistor that voltage charges this capacitor and when the negative half cycle comes again the voltage across the resistor r1 again charges the capacitor in that fashion in the same polarity and so the capacitor's role is to is to charge up to the peak of the waveform and then discharge a little bit and again charge to the peak of the waveform and discharge a little bit and therefore we see that the red waveform is the improved dc converted waveform so you have nearly constant signal across the output the ac signal that is the sinusoidal waveform has been converted into the nearly constant waveform due to the combination of resistor and a capacitor so this capacitor fills filters out the ripples or the variations in the waveform in the output waveform if you remove the capacitor then the black shaded dotted lines is the pulsating dc output that appears in the signal level and this circuit is called as full wave bridge rectifier circuit again i repeat it's called as full wave bridge rectifier circuit now you have to choose a proper value of r and c so that it time constants will decide the charging and discharging rate of the capacitor